We outside the uh, Circle K. Just grabbed me an energy drink. I needed it. No, I don't. <laughs> yeah, we about to hit the gym over here in a second. Got me a uh, pre-workout snack, too. These is vegan. Yup. These is real. No, not everybody likes them, but I like them. Good bit of protein in them. Tastes good to me. But, uh, yeah, so I'm going to have that as a little pre-workout with this <laughs> terrible for me i know but yeah no this is this is just the real of it man like this is just how you know i kind of get myself out of a funk um you know i start off you know doing kind of easing into it you know having a vegan cookie rather than you know a big old breakfast or whatever else to kind of start and, and get this whole intermittent fashion thing going might not eat the best thing but um, you know, this to me is one of the best ways I can start off because I start off with this and then come tomorrow, you know, I might feel like grabbing a fruit bowl <laughs> instead of, you know, starting off with this, you know, kind of just to get me into the windows of eating, just getting used to the intermittent fasting windows because um, I like to break my fast around 12, 1-ish and then have my main meal maybe around five o'clock so this will allow me to get my workout out of the way because like i said i got a i got an exam coming up tomorrow um that i need to be studying for so this is pretty much allowing me to get my workout out of the way um start off with something in my stomach and then come back for my actual meal and um i might actually even add the fruit on during that during that meal too. Just have my chicken with the fruit. Um, but that's kinda how I'm starting it off, just breaking the fast today with a little cookie, a little protein cookie, and um, this energy drink. Hopefully I'll be able to have me an amazing back, back session. Um, my goals right now, in terms of fitness, you know, I'm not, I'm not entirely too, too sure because People kind of come to me and they be like, hey, you know, you should do some c competing. You should you should do some competition. And, you know, initially I'll be like, ah, maybe. But then I end up never doing it. So I don't know if at some point I want to leave that as a mark on the world, doing a competition, which, you know, if you're doing competitions, respect, kudos to you. I know a couple of folks that do competitions. But I don't know if that's the direction I kind of want to go. I don't, and I'm not sure how in shape I want to be because in fitness, at least from my experience, you got two sides to it, really three sides to it. One side is, you know, this is what I'm gonna be doing. I'm gonna be doing this fitness thing. I'm going all in with it. You know, this is all I'm doing. And that's just like a crazy level of commitment to me. And it is, it's a, it's a, it's a crazy level of commitment. Um, so you got those people, they doing the competitions, they doing all that. Then you got the more casual, bodybuilders lifters type people um and i would kind of consider myself on more of the casual side now other people looking at me they might be like hey no you need to compete and that's what i'm saying is i'm not too sure exactly what it is that i want to do with the direction that i want to go in with you know fitness you know do i want to be somebody that you know you have a solid physique but not really looking to grow too much or am i trying to just go all in with this and be like hey this is what i'm doing you know I want to just see how good I can get my physique to be because that would kind of be my goal. It wouldn't be really too much of strength. You know, I want to be functional. I want to be strong. But some of that's kind of like you really can't. Like what? Like what are you going to do with that? <laughs> Lifting, squatting 500 pounds. Now, if you're an athlete, you know, you something like that in, there, in those realms, you need to be as strong as you possibly be. But my athlete days are over, you know. I have fun with it, but that heavy lifting, uh, heavy squatting, power clinging, you know, I'm trying to preserve my joints, keep them moving, keep them mobile, but not not put too much stress on them, you know. So, you know, like I said, I'm not too sure the direction I want to go. However, with this video, I'm kind of just going to be showing y'all, like I said, what I'm eating, what I'm doing. Um, like I said, this is my pre-workout, pre-meal. Pre haven't eaten anything at all today. Need to give me a, a, a big bottle of water, which I'm gonna be doing that too. Probably gonna bring it along with me there. 
Just grab some water. You gotta make sure you're drinking water. Um, yeah, and another thing I got too is this um this creatine. I went and got this. There we go. Yeah. I went and got this uh creatine, hundred percent creatine yesterday at Walmart. Um why I know it works. <laughs> Used it before. I can make a whole another separate video on that. I might do it, I don't know. But yeah, that's kind of where we at with it right now. Um, I just really want to share with y'all the highs and the lows, you know. And show y'all how somebody like me is getting out of the lows and into the highs. So that being said, I'm about to say this about three, four times already. <laughs> I'm about to drink this, eat that, give me some water, take that creatine, all before doing a back and bicep session today. today. Um, I'm trying to think what gym I got to go to. Now, my thing about these gyms is, at least the gyms in my area, and this is just me as a person, and I hope y'all really know and understand and realize, like, I'm not a mean person at all. Um, I just have my antisocial feats about myself. Like, if I'm in the gym, if I'm at the gym, I like going to the gym by myself. That's why I stopped doing personal training, because I can't convince anybody to want to work out hard that day. And if I go to the gym more times than not, I'm working hard. Yeah, we all have those workouts where it's not good. But even then, like me going to the gym is my time to kind of just be, get that, that negative energy out, you know, whatever energy, you know, I need to get out, I'm pushing it out. Or it's my time to kind of just sit and think, um, you know, in between sets. You know, it's real kind of alleviating for me going to the gym. And I'm sure it is for a lot of people. So... I've never been that person that likes working out with multiple people. Um, you know, when I had my, my teams that I, that I played with, that was cool. But we all was on the same, like, mindset. We was all like, hey, we trying to get better. We trying to get stronger. Like, we was all on that same mindset, so it was easier. So, you know, maybe I need to find more people like that. But at the same time, still, it's just like I'm having an issue right now with a couple of gyms that I got <laughs> because, you know, I kind of run in there and I end up, me in or knowing or you know kind of more or less knowing some people because it is around the, the college area too so i kind of go in there and i like know some people and then you know, they want to talk and this and the third and it's like hey i'm just trying to work out man <laughs> i'm just trying to work out honestly no you know no no mean no bad vibes no none of that but i'm trying to work out so hopefully i'm probably gonna post a video today um you know intermittent fasting journey day one of intermittent fasting i don't know what i'm gonna title it yet i had an idea for the title but i kind of just changed my mind just now all that being said finally i'm about to go ahead and drink this turn up a little bit get ready for the gym so i guess i will maybe not see y'all there i don't know probably gonna share so what i'm gonna do is actually bear with me <laughs> what i'm gonna do is i'm actually gonna record like my starting weight now i'm not gonna sh uh, show y'all but i'm gonna end up posting like an update video whether it's a week from now or a month from now whatever it is um so y'all can kind of see like oh i see what you're saying now you know and i might even have i'm, pro I'm probably gonna record like a little before of my physique and then boom have the after of it and then i'm gonna show y'all so this video is going to be day one intermittent fasting, but then I'd have to do like day 25 or day 30 or something like that. Or should I do week one? I don't know, man. We're going to figure it out. Y'all going to see the title of the video.